Hello YouTube, I'm no Scope Airsoft, otherwise known as Jason. You're watching the video review of the Lancer Tactical M4A1 carbine from airsoftgi.com. At just $96 from Airsoft GI, this airsoft gun provides an excellent choice for anyone's first gun or even their fifth gun. But do not let the price fool you. This airsoft gun has a full metal version 2 gearbox and gears and shoots 380 feet per second with 0.2 gram BBs. A full ready to play set is also available at just $130 from Airsoft GI as well. The box isn't flashed and it's pretty straightforward with the manufacturer's logo, some warning signs and some stickers. In the box you'll find the foregrip which is plastic, it's kind of cheap, I mean you can find that in most airsoft guns these days. The removable rear sight, rail covers which are already attached to the gun, and a fairly sturdy full metal high capacity magazine which holds roughly about 350 or 400 rounds. I truly, I truthfully forgot about the uh, capacity of the magazine because I like to use mid caps. BBs are also included. If you order from Airsoft GA, you get a nice quality control certificate. The selector switch is located on the typical side of the M4. You got your safe, semi, and fully automatic. The battery is located in the stock and for time's sake, in about a couple of seconds, I will speed this up. And there we go. The battery is a 8.4 volt, 1100 milliamp battery. Pretty typical for an AEG like this. I did have quite a bit of trouble uh, putting this battery in. Uh, I actually kind of left while I was recording the video, but now I'm moving on. Like I said before, the rear sight is removable so you can fit on scopes. These high cap mags, I mean, you always gotta wind them. Why not just chuck them? And we're gonna bring out our King Arms plastic uh, 120 round mid caps. Take our speed reloader, we can load them up. That's what you do with mid caps. Speed reloaders are probably the quickest way to load a mid cap. I mean, you don't wanna use that jamming rod because. They hurt. Location of the hop up is revealed by pulling back the, the charging handle. You can decrease the backspin or increase the backspin by turning it up or down. And it increases the range. You already know what a hop up does. Now let's go out for the shooting test. You can see from the shooting test, which I fired about 11 rounds from a mid cap on mostly semi automatic, that they all grouped around a certain place mostly. We got two off to the side, but overall I was shooting at a very small target from about 30 feet. Again, at under $100, 380 to 400 feet per second with the 0.2 gram BBs, this gun is amazing. This gun gets a final score of 9 out of 10 for being very inexpensive. It shoots fast, has high grade internals, but its externals, externals are plastic and flimsy. Check back in a couple of weeks and there will be a new video up.